What's going on guys? I'm Cobra Trading. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about money. Speaking of money, I had to actually cut off the entries for the $100 giveaway. So that those entries are closed. I am going to be announcing the winner after Labor Day weekend once I get back from vacation and starting today right now. Read the information in the description below for how you can enter for the next contest, which is going to be 50 bucks and you will be entered for the next contest that I'm going to be giving away after this two weeks, two weeks. It'll be two weeks from now. Okay, back to talking about money. We've got all these altcoins popping off, right? We've got Bitcoin popping off. The stock markets are popping off. Don't totally go off. It's so intense that I just gave you guys jazz hands, but how do you actually find the tokens that you want and how do you research them to make sure that you're not investing your money in a 2017 style scam? Okay, so there's a couple things that you're gonna need to- But Scott, don't tell me it's research. I don't wanna do research. It's research, a lot of it. Once you find the tokens that you want to invest in, whether you heard about them on Twitter or you heard about some 10X gem that I'm personally invested in that you wanna look at or whatever, I'm not a personal financial advisor, which is why I'm about to tell you the number one thing that you must do for anything that you're going to invest in. Make sure that you're doing your due diligence on the team members, the community, and the white paper, okay? And that's exactly what I did with my favorite token, which is News Crypto, NWC, and I already made 10X off of that. It's awesome. You can do the same exact thing, but you have to follow these steps. You have to do your due diligence. We're gonna get into the technicals about the gem that I picked in case you wanna do your own research on that as well and take a look at it, which I'm going to recommend. I think that it's a very good team and their developers are super solid. They've got fantastic partnerships like Visa, GPay, PayPal, Alipay, they've got a lot of stuff that's going on. Check out their Telegram, which by the way is a fantastic community, and go to their website, which is a great platform. And the reason why I like this project is because their whole platform is centered around education. They do charts, they do education, there's videos, there's news, there's everything. It's really awesome, especially for beginners. Check out all of that stuff, check out the fundamentals, read the white paper, do all your due diligence. I'm gonna tell you right now a very quick way to do this without it taking very much time. Number one, go to coinmarketcap.com. Number two, search for the token that you want. Number three, go to their website and copy and paste their names into Twitter or LinkedIn or something. Find the owners of the project somewhere on the internet and make sure that they're not Google photos or stock photos of random no-name people that are models. Number three, did I say three? Make sure that they have an active community, okay? That includes Telegram or if they have a Discord or whatever. Make sure that they have some kind of active community going on because chances are if they don't, chances are it's a scam, okay? so. After that, make sure that you're reading the white paper. And honestly, most of them are not that long. Most of them are between 10 and 30 pages. After that, you can think about investing or maybe appropriating a part of your portfolio. There's a lot of peas in that in a coin like this one or like another one. Let's go ahead and check out the charts. So this is my gem that I picked. This is NWC on the four hour chart. And I haven't actually looked at this chart in a couple days, actually, but we've been seeing a lot of action here. So once these 100 and the 200 EMA, once they crossed bullish, we had two retests of the 100 EMA and then it shot off like a rocket. So I think I've gone over this part before. We retested major support at 16 cents and kind of had some bullish consolidation here. And then... I was saying for I think last week I was saying that you know if this ended up seeing a close over 20 cents that we would end up seeing another rocket takeoff and that's basically exactly what happened here we got this uh, first close above 21 cents here uh, we had a little rejection and then it just shot off like a rocket and we went all the way up to test almost uh, looks like we tested 30 cents here so we hit 28 retraced 
and it is just a rocket. Everybody is buying the dips on this. Dips are getting bought up really quickly, and this is still my target up here. I've had this drawn for about two weeks now. I'm still expecting at least 32 to 35 cents for this. If we close above that, we'll probably end up seeing a correction uh, in the in the midterm, but long term, probably in the next a uh, few months or whatever, I definitely expect this to be going to a dollar. Like this definitely has potential to be coming way, 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 way up. So this is definitely, uh, you know, this is a coin that can go 10, 10 X easily. Um, I'm really excited for this. My bags have been uh, blessed because of this coin and it has been absolutely phenomenal. Let's take a look at Ichimoku Cloud real fast. So we were testing our Kijinsen line. We actually broke below it just briefly to test our 100 EMA again, as well as the top of the cloud. So what that's what's really interesting about um, Ichimoku is that normally uh, the clouds, uh, the top and bottoms of the clouds, which are support and resistance levels, line up with the EMAs and stuff like that. Normally they line up pretty well. So we tested that. We continued our way up. We hit about 30 cents, 28 cents came back down and we tested the 50 EMA perfectly here on this retest on these candles. Very strong bottom here. Now, if you go back and you look at my candlestick video, which I suggest that you do, it'll be linked at the end of the video. I go into candlesticks, their shapes, their bodies, what they're called and all of that stuff. We had obviously this is a bearish candle, but look, there's no wick down here to the bottom. Neither is there a wick down to the bottom on this. So this is a really solid bottom signal because our next candle was bullish and we had a big wick up to the top which means that there's a lot of buying pressure here so we ended up getting that bullish close here on this candle and once we broke above on this candle it looks like we're breaking above our uh Tengensen line so that would be very very good to be closing above that lots of buying pressure up here there's people obviously trying to take profits smaller retail traders and scalpers that are taking profits off of this move here as seen by this wick but overall not not serious in the overall scheme of things uh keep in mind this is the four hour chart so this is a little bit of a longer time frame here uh but normally when i'm doing swing trades and i'm planning on holding on to a trade or holding on to a bag for a while that's normally the time frame that i go to look on as well as the daily chart looking a little stagnant honestly on the daily chart but other than that, it really looks good. Uh, this is what's known as a tweezer. Uh, normally, you don't see these uh, with the wicks down on the top of a trend, which tells me that the top of this trend is not in yet. So uh, we've got a really big wick to the upside, really big wick to the downside. That means that it's uh, the price action is just kind of stagnant. There's a really even disbursement of buyers and sellers here. So we'll have to wait for the next couple of days to see what happens. We'll probably end up leveling off at this new area that we're in since we broke well above 20 cents. So I think maybe a, a retest um, down here of like the 20 cent level is probably in store one more time. Normally, you don't just finish it off on one wick like this. So I expect to see probably some more bullish consolidation here for the rest of the week. And then we'll probably come up uh, either later this week or next week and easily hit my target here between 32 and 35 cents. Just to let you all know, that's not going to be the only coin that I'm ever talking about besides Bitcoin on this channel. There are going to be other altcoins and things that I pick but I'm in the process of finding those now and doing my due diligence, doing my research and all of that fun and dandy stuff. With all that said, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I look forward to seeing all of you guys tomorrow. And until then, I'm Cobra Trading. Make sure that you smash that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. Check out the link in the description below for all of the contest information. And until next time, happy trading.